hi welcome now i am going to show you how to solve quadratic equation using excel okay what i have here is that uh, i have quadratic equations uh, of this form ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero okay the traditional way of solving this is we use the formula okay minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4 ac by 2a okay uh, our objective here is not to use the formula instead use the function here which is uh, functionality here which is in the what if analysis which is used useful to forecast okay so here we have a uh, thing that uh, goal seek okay we are going to use the goal seek okay to input some value and find the uh, the resultant okay so how we are going to do is uh, we have uh, about uh, five equations here i'm going to solve it using the goal sink okay x square plus 2x minus uh, 63 okay so how to solve this i have here the same thing x square minus uh, x square which is uh, here the x is nothing by cell b b5 okay b5 cell so what i'm going to do i'm going to solve a pre equation here i already have the answer here okay so i'm going to solve it for x okay so this is the left hand side of the equation which i want to make it as lhs equal to zero probably we can say it is lhs okay i want this is the lhs i want to make this one as zero okay so how to how can we do this okay for every x uh, i'm going to find the i'm going to give usually what we do is we give the x value and find the uh, the equation the formula value okay we give any cell and find the formula but uh, this one is a reverse we are setting the target and uh, solving it for x uh, for what this cell value will give us zero okay so the for this is the one what if analysis okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to solve it the first one so set cell this cell lhs okay to value what value i want this target value zero okay seek for zero that is my goal okay by changing the cell this is my variable now okay uh, keep putting a value on x and find uh, and converge that one to zero the the this cell to zero okay put value on b5 okay but uh, iterate it and find the value until this value which is a5 becomes zero okay this is reverse okay so i'm going to plus okay see this one change to 7 whereas uh, this lhs move to 0 okay so this is more uh, the point zero 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 point 0.0000.1 is exactly is 0 okay similarly for the next one so this one you can see here b5 square 2 2 b5 minus 6 3 this is my equation here okay b5 here because the cell x is b5 okay similarly this one 8 b6 square 8 x square minus b6 x is b6 now okay this cell minus 790 i set this one to zero by changing the cell this one b6 minus 8 minus 0.875 okay it's interesting that i already have an answer here which is 10 okay but minus uh, uh, 8 minus 9.87 also comes because we have uh, there are the equation may have uh, two uh, two uh, answers okay there may be two uh, two values for x can satisfy the same equation so what i do is i just uh, make this one as uh, uh, 
a positive value for the for the goal seek to start with the positive value to arrive the positive value okay value is uh, i am trying to set this zero by changing variable x see this is 10 okay there could be two two uh, values can satisfy the same uh, equation because we have uh, uh, minus b plus or minus so the plus will give one value and minus will give another value okay now this one zero by changing variable is here it's obviously zero only zero can satisfy this equation okay there could be some other minus values also we don't know minus or plus plus values also okay but uh, obvious answer is zero okay and uh, this one two value is i am setting this value to zero by changing my x is now b8 by changing cell is my b8 answer is six but uh, this one is interesting when you put uh, 6 uh, okay but uh, this one is not converging to only 3 digit because this could be a format cells exactly 6 no maybe the decimal places if you increase the decimal places you can see here that is why it is not exactly zero okay it may keep going to converge to six that time it will converge to zero but uh, our algorithm stops after few few digits because otherwise it will take too long to converge this one to six okay so that it will become six so we can uh, safely we can take it six uh, and uh, when this one converges to six then it will converge to zero okay so we will safely take uh, this is zero and uh, is six okay that's why the algorithm stops instead of going to make it zero okay it will give you the answer you know how to round it and get the answer okay otherwise we need to wait for long time to this one to zero again it will go zero 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 then one is there then it keeps going right so there is some point it has to stop okay Th that's why it stopped after uh, five decimal zero okay then finally the the last one you can see here the formula here is nothing but the same thing here okay so i am i am just uh, setting off uh, this one has to be 3 6 9 6 3 or uh, i think okay let's try this one oh okay okay is it uh, triple one is the answer yeah okay so now we are going to solve this okay before that our question here is that four nine four nine two eight four four nine it has to be four nine two eight four okay this is the equation okay so what if 
goal seek i want this cell to be the equation to be zero whereas my changing cell is the x which is b9 triple one okay this is the way you can uh, use uh, goal seek to solve other quadratic equations okay if you need a minus value for uh, another value maybe a minus can satisfy your equation you know that value probably what you can do is you can give a, a starting point as the minus a thousand for example a starting point as a bigger number with the minus then now you solve this one for this one I set to 0 x you give a initial value is minus 10 ok you can see minus 9 solves this equation minus 9 ok there are two 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 answers uh, available here ok one is the minus 9 as well as 7 ok so most of the time we solve it for uh, the positive number if you give 1 or uh, 0 but uh, you want uh, the another answer the another solution you just you know that it is in minus then you give a big minus number minus triple nine or something and uh, ask the goal sheet to start uh, that one as a initial solution then it will arrive with the minus okay or if uh, both of them in positive okay if again it comes to positive then the answer is in both the answers are in positive you start with uh, something bigger than uh, if uh, the the for this example for example it is 7 and uh, 15 is the answer two answers okay then you start with the 8 or something so that it will go and converge to the bigger number then it will find 15 okay so hope uh, this video is helpful to you and uh, uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and also uh, uh, give a like and also give your comments in my comment section okay it will be helpful to me okay and uh, god bless you